Hello and welcome to Two Minutes of Anatomy. I am Dr. Donald Lozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. The tibial nerve is one of the two terminal branches of the sciatic nerve. The sciatic nerve is the largest nerve in the entire human body. A few centimeters superior to the popliteal fossa, the sciatic nerve bifurcates into its two terminal branches, the common perineal nerve and the tibial nerve. The tibial nerve is the larger of the two terminal branches. The tibial nerve provides motor and sensory innervation to most of the posterior lower leg and foot. It receives its nerve signals from vertebral levels L4 through S3. The tibial nerve supplies motor innervation to a large number of muscles. The long list includes the gastrocnemius, the popliteus, the soleus, the tibialis posterior, the flexor digitorum longus, the flexor hallucis longus, the abductor hallucis, the flexor digitorum brevis, the flexor hallucis brevis, the lumbricals of the foot, the quadratus plantae, the flexor digitorum minimi, the adductor hallucis, the interosseous muscles of the foot, and the abductor digiti minimi. In addition to its motor innervation, the tibial nerve gives rise to sensory branches. These branches include the medial sural cutaneous nerve, the medial calcaneal nerve, the medial plantar nerve, and the lateral plantar nerve. These sensory branches provide sensation to the posterior lateral leg, lateral heel, lateral foot, medial heel, lateral aspect of the plantar surface of the foot, and medial aspect of the plantar surface of the foot. Again, the tibial nerve is one of the two terminal branches of the sciatic nerve. About two centimeters superior to the popliteal fossa, the sciatic nerve bifurcates into the common perineal nerve and the tibial nerve.